Well, good, wonderful, beautiful morning, audience. I thought I would jump on here real quick before we get into today's video and let you guys know that today's video is actually a recap of Jamie's entire trip to Canada. So it's going to be an all Canada video. Um, he went up to Canada with his cousin Chris and his uncle Kenny. I don't know that he said that too often in the video, so I thought I would say that. And also, they went to a cabin where you had to drive up to a road, turn down a dirt road, park, and then drive four-wheelers 12 miles into the woods to get to the cabin on the lake. You can't drive an actual car back to this cabin. <laughs> and I don't know if that was explained real well, so I thought I would kind of explain that to you guys before we roll into today's video. So like I said, this is an all Jamie vlog, you guys. Well, minus the beginning of it, of course. It's an all Jamie vlog of Jamie's trip to Canada. We wanted to make sure to put this together so he had the memory of the trip and he really did share a lot of cool stuff with you guys. So enjoy Jamie's trip to Canada. We made it to the bridge. Oh Canada, oh Canada. You probably can't hear me because I got the window open. There's Sioux St. Marie. There's a, uh, that's not the Sioux Locks, but that's one of the rivers here. There's the Sioux Locks. That's what the boats use to get up and down out of the big lake. There's one in there right now. See him? Right, Whoop, right there. Yep, he's going to drive into that little canal, and they're going to raise the water up about 15 feet, looks like, right now. And then he'll be on this one, or else, because you can see the rapids over here. That's going down, so safely get through the canals. One, two, three, four. Four of them there. Here we go. And that way, that's Lake Superior. Jeep made it to Canada with a trailer. Well, I gotta take you out to the beach here. So we made it. It was a, uh, it was a nightmare. I mean, I say it was a nightmare, but it really wasn't that bad. Oh no. This, this camera doesn't have a muff on it, so it's gonna be windy. But check this out, guys. That's cool. This is a, an inlet to Lake Superior. One of the many fingers up here. All right, well, we're gonna check our straps. We're about ready to head on to dirt roads from here, off pavement, so. We're gonna check our straps and get to it. Well, here we are, off road. You can see the ravine, there's a, uh, well, there was a river over there, but I think it went further away now. But yeah, look at the road. I think the ro river went under us. It did, it went under us. And then here's Big Hill. We're liable to see a logging truck come in and out of here. We're just after lunchtime, so hopefully they're already all back in here or not out yet. Just traffic a little slower right now before work gets out, maybe. It's pretty cool. So there's the bluffs I was talking about. You can see them right over this little lake. Isn't that cool? There's, a, there's even more than that, but gosh, beautiful up here. <laughs> ah, I managed to hit record. Here we are. We're on the trail. Here's a good Father Chris and his dad. How's that? How's that, you guys? So, <laughs> here I am. I got my guitar on my back. You can see that back there. It's fun. Hey, what's up? I managed to do some recording. <laughs> Fish fingers. Him and Joe went up to Gray Owl yesterday. That was a great ten minutes job. That wasn't bad. Joe Landry. Him and Bobby went. How's about that, guys? Isn't that pretty? 
to watch that sunset right over this lake for five days straight. I am not gonna complain. I will miss my wife and my dogs, but <laughs> this is beautiful. All right, we gotta get unloaded. An airplane that's gonna land on the lake today. Right into the beautiful sunset. Yeah, that's what I said. He's gonna land before that. There's Joe. He's already on the water. Oh, no. Touchdown. He touched down. He touched down. He touched down for fun. Yep. That's where we need to move now. No, I ain't oh, moving. Okay, okay. Yeah, oh, your video. Oh, there he goes. Oh, shit. Come on, guy. He's landing right for their dock. There he goes. He's a boat. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I wish I had my phone, but it's not my phone. Showboating. Showboating. to one side to get one out of the water. He might. There you go. Yep. Power. Probably don't need it. I was no. surprised it turned there. So it was bright and early in the morning, probably almost 9 30, 10 o'clock. That's the back of camp. And I am headed up the woods to this beautiful place. This beautiful single room house. Danger. Gas. No smoking. There's there's it. There's the, there's where we get to go. Nice, nice little bathroom, eh? Kinda cool. Look at that. Look at that. Somebody wove some birch bark. Isn't that cool? Oh, nice. Nice little trip up to the dew holer this morning. <laughs> All right, so I think it's day three, maybe at camp. Second night here. Uh, this morning went to uh, stack some firewood, um, wasn't behind us here, it was actually across the lake over there uh, because the come back up here when it's cold it's easier to have two locations of wood. Uh, got two camps, got more than two camps, but anyway. So we're loaded up, ready to go this morning because the loggers have come through here recently and uh, they may have made some new trails that might make our morning or the the drive to here a little bit easier, I guess. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna go check that out. We're gonna stop and get some uh, scrap wood here before we go. Yes, do you have a Still got more wood to cut. Oh, check out the the ring ear rings on that. It was uh, part of a big branch. Look at that. Okay, Ready? Ha! Hey. So here's a reference. We're down in a little hole. There's a little creek still, water running flow through here. You can even see the wood stacked up right there. Yeah, there's a, there's a good reference. Yeah, I say you be careful. Now, now see that water right behind him? That's that's head level. That's that's the height of the water. I don't know if that portrays, but you can kind of see over here. There's a valley down and a little bit of creek, but. The beavers That's have. That's a beaver dam, and they always let a little water out so it doesn't flood over. Oh, okay. And or else it'll tear apart their dam. Always let water come out. <laughs> but That's. We could take some. We could take a backhoe dynamite and blow this up right here tonight, and by tomorrow night that would be pit fixed. Wow. And beavers would have that plugged off again. That's crazy. 
Yeah. That's, That's pretty neat. Like Watch them, yeah. It's pretty neat. sit and relax in this waterfall. Look at that. I'll show you up here a little bit. This train bridge, pretty cool. How's it feel? Is it warm? Ice cold, huh? Nice. I'm gonna find it. So I had to show you, here's that same waterfall, but I looked down at that rock. Isn't that rock something? It's like it's got vertebrae going to each different direction. Look at that. That's so weird. Right down in the water too, the lines. This is that same waterfall. There's Chris and Uncle Ken. My cousin Chris, and there's this, this is the left side. That's a good little cabin right there. Running out of battery, guys. Gotta make her quick. Look at that. Oh, well, Cam, the battery died, guys, about Three quarters of the way, which just before we found the the new logging trail, is where my camera battery died. Uh, hopefully, I friends and family here or family here got some footage. If not, that's all right. We did make it back, and there's uh, already started unloading. Lake's looking nice. I already jumped in, cleaned the dust off, and. I'm ready for the sauna room soon. Gonna go eat some food in camp. Oh, Ken's making that for us. Chris down there cleaning off, I think. And look at that. We got some. We got some mud, boys. Look at that gunk. My, here, here's a inclination. Them are my sandals. Well, I probably shouldn't have wore sandals, but my feet are now nice and clean. Might have a sunburn or two going on. Some weird sandal lines, but <laughs> oh, I'm having a blast. Having a blast. This is aside from Miss and Jessica, which I hear I hear my uncle calling his wife right now. It's uh, he got a. It's different up here for phones, but if you get a calling card and you call an operator and. If you're lucky, they'll dispatch you through. Uh, 
having problems last night, so hopefully he gets connected with them guys today. So, talk to you guys later. So this is the Quintet Lakes. Very close to Spruce Lake, but not attached. There's small portage by land. You could take a canoe, kayak, small john boat, but, but nothing really with a big motor. You're just gonna go across there. It's still a quarter of a mile or so. Nice sandy beach right here. We're playing horseshoes. See? <laughs> playing horseshoes. Back on the boat. It's almost set. Head back to camp. I bet it gets prettier too. There's, yep, there's some pink under there that's gonna show up. God, it's gorgeous. Almost back to camp. Well, last day of camp. Got everything packed up. You can see the ride in my bag got. A little bit dirty, but that's where I slept. Top bunk, looking seared into the living room. Pretty sure I go sh showed you the cabin, right? This is living room, dining room, sunroom, kind of kitchen. Thought I thought I showed you guys when I came in, but in case I didn't, making we're packing up, making sure everything's good to go. I'm not sure if I gave you guys a 10 cent tour of the sauna, but here is, the, I showed you this from the outside, so. Got some tongue and groove here to finish putting up, but got it, just gotta get to her. This is inside the sauna room. There's the fire for the sauna. A couple bench seats in here. See the, I'm still putting up the, the wood walls. Hi guys. So this is a sauna room. Hi. You see the tongue and groove we got going on here. We're gonna probably finish the whole thing in the nice tongue and groove, minus that wall right there where the fire goes. Got a nice little cellar here. You guys can see just a cellar. A couple vents for the cellar. Here's a shower. There's a little shower head and a little pump here that that turns on the switch for the shower and. Just pulls up water out of the one of the bins here, and we take uh, colder lake water and mix it with the uh, the hot sauna water. Oh, I got the light off in there. Let me turn that on real quick. Oops, here it goes. There we go. And there's the there's the back of the fire stove, and there's our water tank for the sauna and the shower. And you just uh. You just take a little ladle here, we got a wooden ladle, and you ladle some water on the back of that stove and it steams up the sauna good. There's the hot water hose, you just grab that hose, stick it in the bucket out here when it's out here, pull that valve, and you got boiling hot instant water to take a shower with. It's great. And uh, got a little meter back there in the corner that gives us the temperature up to the cabin, so we'll make sure it's getting warm. Kind of gives us a heads up if the fire is going or not. But that's the that's a 10 cent tour around the sauna room. Pretty cool, nice, very nice to get in here and uh and uh take a shower. Woodshed there, woodshed there, there's camp, there's Chris. A shop there and uh outhouse out back behind. Can't can't complain there. Got the four-wheeler packed up with all my stuff. And uh, Chris got his all packed up with all his stuff and we're finishing packing the side-by-side -side in the trailer and we'll be headed back out to the parking lot to get back to town. Just about ready to make it out of the end of the trail and one of the locals there stopped Kenny on the, Uncle Kenny on the way out. Wish him a good luck trip back, I'm sure. Wonder when he's gonna come on back. So do I look funny with a guitar on my back? <laughs> well, it probably looks a lot like it did when we first got here. But we are loaded up and ready to go. We got the trailers halfway out. We're stopping on the side of the road. They're gonna show me here a nice little waterfall. There seem to be a lot of that up here. 
However, the water's pretty low, so the waterfall might be too. Oop, I'm gonna have to get over to it. Well, looks like we might have to cross the river by foot. Yep, we wanna see it. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that, guys. I bet this really flows when the water's flowing. Very nice walk on. Snack on a little lunch, gonna have a sandwich. Beautiful. back on that bridge that we started this adventure at. Coming back south. There's the locks over there. We're on the wrong side of the road, so. Gotta go through customs, so. Still pretty. Still pretty.